Do you want to take the blue pill and become a millionaire? Pfft, boring. Or do you want to take the red pill and be able to walk through mirrors? Let me know in the comments, guys. I want to take the red pill. Just like we've seen in the new Matrix 4 trailer where we can see Neo actually walk through a mirror. Well, let's do a breakdown and show you guys how it's done using Adobe After Effects. Welcome to Copycat. Copycat. <laughs> Throw the ball, Lorenzo. I'm gonna do this like uh, the Matrix, like this, as you throw the ball over me, okay? Come on, just go at it, go. Ah! Damn it, Lorenzo. It was way too soon. Stupid Matrix. The Matrix is probably one of the most famous movies in the world or even the universe, so I'm really excited to make this effect. But of course, first we need a really important prop, so let's go shopping. Get in, loser, we're going shopping. We're thinking of buying uh, like a painting to be able to cut out the painting itself and then use that frame of it to put it on the door. In the end, we didn't find anything. So our second plan is just to go back to the office, find some spare wood we have painted, maybe add some little decoration if we can. But that's gonna be the plan for now. You know, I have this like uh, weird obsession sometimes, like late at night. I start like watching all of these DIY woodworking channels, like how to make your own bed, how to make your own table. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm gonna do that one day. And eventually it never happens. I think something went wrong. Yeah, my screws are not long enough. Okay, I'm gonna have to put my water and my cell phone down for this, guys. Clearly, Lorenzo didn't learn anything here at Cinecom. Like, why create your own frame? Why put so much effort and time into that if you can just go ahead to the store and buy a new frame? It's like reinventing the wheel. And you know, it's just the same thing with us video editors. Like, why create every video asset yourself if you can just go to storyblocks.com and download millions of video assets from there? You see, you're not just limited to all of these epic drone shots or mountains or nature or city shots or people or even Mars you know no you can also download things like After Effects templates create logo reveals create title sequences create transitions or maybe you're looking for backgrounds to create that beautiful presentation video who knows what you have so many video assets things like overlays like muzzle flashes lens flares cinematic lens flares like this one right here every single day we're making use of story blocks because it's safe saves us time and we're creating stunning things because of that. And still, Lorenzo is reinventing the wheel. Now, it doesn't stop right there, guys. You can download unlimited video assets. Not just one, not just two, no, unlimited video assets are from Storyblocks with an active subscription. So go ahead, guys, click the first link in the description down below to start downloading right now. Ta-da! You know, we always make these very cozy sets and after the shoot, we need to break them down. Which is very unfortunate, because it's always so cozy. I like to stay here. It's like a sunshine. It's raining today, so uh, it's good to have the sun inside of the studio. It's good. It's good. <laughs> the most important thing for shooting this effect is that you have some kind of hole to crawl through. When going through a mirror, you of course need to go from one side of a wall to another. So that's why we build our own set like you can see right here. And if you can't build your own set, you can just always use a door in your house. And ideally, you'll need two cameras. One in the front shooting the main shot and one behind you shooting the reflection shot. And when you're placing both cameras, make sure they have the same distance on either side and that they also have the same angle towards the door because simply otherwise your footage wouldn't match. How 
However, if you don't have two cameras, you could always shoot your first shot, move the camera and do it again. Just make sure your movement isn't too complicated so you can replicate it again later on. And when you finally have those two shots, you can start with the editing. The first part we'll be creating is the reflection. So drag both clips to your sequence. On the bottom, we place our walking shot and on top, the reflection shot. Now, flip the reflection clip around and position it so the doorways match up with the walking shot. If needed, you can always scale the clip up. With the shot selected, draw a precise mask where the mirror should be. Once that is done, right click, pre-comb this layer and call it reflection. We'll also need an empty layer of the reflection since we'll be masking parts back in later. So with the reflection layer selected, make a duplicate. Right click, go to time and then freeze frame. And now it's time to make the talent come out of the mirror. So make a duplicate of the walking shot and place it on top. Trim the clip at the points where they start coming through the mirror and when they leave the mirror, so they're not in front of it anymore. To make the masking easier, let's first rotoscope the talent out. Depending on the length of your clip, you need to cut this up in multiple pieces, just like I did right here. If it's too long, After Effects could crash, which is of course not something that we want. When the rotoscope is done, select all rotoscope layers and make a pre-comp. Now we can start drawing a rough mask at the parts where the talent comes out of the mirror. Once done, it should look something like this. Then it's time for the reflection shot. So drag the reflection shot layer above the freeze frame. With this selected, trim the clip from the point where the reflection should start. And then you can just start masking the reflection in. If you did that right, it already should look like your talent is walking out of the mirror. And don't worry about the body parts not lining up 100%. In the next step, we'll be adding some effects, which will make this unnoticeable. Okay, select both the reflection and reflection freeze frame layer. Pre-comb these and rename this to reflection to keep everything organized. Now, with this behind us, it's time to add the magic. We'll start with a thick border that you can see around Mio when he walks through the mirror. Right click in your sequence, go to new, select solid, rename it to border mask and set it to white. Also move this layer under the duplicate walking shot. With the solid selected, we can start drawing masks around the body parts that leave the mirror. Do keep in mind that these masks can only be open where the talent is touching the mirror, so close it back up when needed. Once you have all your masks in place, select the solid layer, Open up the mask properties and go to mask expansion. Increase this so that the white border starts coming out from behind the talent. Doing it this way will help you create an even border at all times. Then head over to your sequence, make a duplicate of the reflection layer and let's also rename this reflection border. Now select the solid and reflection border and pre-comb those layers. Once done, open this pre-comb and let's disable the visibility of the border layer. Head over to the FX library, Look for CC Globalize and drag this on top of the reflection layer. As you can see, the effect is now over the whole clip, which is not what we need right now. So head over to the FX Controls window and here you'll want to change the blob layer to border. And now, nothing happened. And that's because this effect needs a black and white clip, while we only have a white alpha one. So to fix this, pre comb the border layer head into the pre-comp and create a black solid under our white one. Once done, head back into your main comp and there we go. I know it's a lot, but we're almost there. In the trailer, you can see the ripples around the mirror when he walks through it. To do this, right click in your sequence and create a new solid. On this solid, we'll be adding the VR fractal noise. To achieve that warped effect, we'll need to change some settings. So head over to the effects control panel. Change the fractal type to max and increase the contrast and brightness. You can always go back in later and change those two settings to get more or less distortion. We'll also need to animate it, so alt click on the evolution stopwatch and type time multiplied by 400. This expression will animate the evolution over time. Before we move on, let's pre-comb this layer and call it mirror distortion and disable the visibility of this layer. Select the reflection layer and make a duplicate of this. Let's also rename it Reflection Warped. On this new layer, we'll add the CC Glass effect. And in the properties of this effect, we'll set the bump map to our solid layer. If everything went well, your whole mirror should have a distortion. To make it more realistic, we want to have waves going from the inside to the outside. So to do this, head into the mirror distortion layer. Right click in your sequence and create a new solid. On this solid, we're going to add the radio waves effect. Change the color from blue to white, I will also increase the start width. The lines are currently too sharp to create waves. So let's add a Gaussian blur and increase the blurriness until you get something like this. And pre-comb this layer. To have the waves affect the distortion, look for the displacement map effect and add this to your VR fractal noise layer. Here you'll want to change the displacement map to the layer with the radio waves. Then change the use for horizontal and vertical displacement to luminance and increase the max horizontal and vertical displacement. And there we go, our mirror is being distorted correctly. 
Besides one thing though, currently the whole mirror is constantly distorted instead of animating in and out. So select the reflection warp layer and start drawing masks where you want them to appear. The last thing we have left is this little gap under our mirror and this I simply covered with just taking another piece of our wall and placing this piece on top of the open gap. And if you followed all these steps, which I know are quite a few, you can finally walk through a mirror. And that's how you can walk through mirrors just like Neo from The Matrix 4. Really looking forward to that video, guys. Ah! Damn it! My red pill ain't working anymore. Why is this happening? I should have taken the blue pill. Stupid mirror. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you've enjoyed this video and learned something new. Storyblocks, thank you so much for your support. And guys, definitely check them out and get a subscription to Storyblocks. You won't regret it. And as always, Stay creative. Ah! Ah! <laughs>